Yeah, it's uh, it's the opposite high school opposite staff room. I just finished interacting with uh, the staff and um, teachers, and they are calling for community intervention, government intervention, post students intervention because of the level of infrastructure that has really gone bad in this place. So I like joined them in making this call. Let's see what this place looks like at the moment. This used to be one of the best schools in our Pursia House, the local government of Boeing State. But this was a principal's lodge. That place used to be the store. But as it is, this uh, laboratory, none of the laboratories is functional. This used to be the laboratories, but no equipment, none is functional. The science lab is not functional. They don't have a computer lab. Nothing, everything is alternative. The inside is is what it looks like. This is the laboratory, the laboratory. This is the only functional classrooms. This one and the newer one with green, blue roof. In this whole school, these classrooms are the only functional ones. Here, this is part of the lab, but since the lab is not functioning, is now used as a classroom so the two blocks we're going to see the front and the inside as well so, yeah one of the classrooms this one doesn't appear to be in use another another classroom so, the board This is the front view of the classroom. Imagine the look. No student deserve to be lying under this condition. This appears to be a newer building, but classroom, board, ceilings. Interesting. Another classroom here. Check out the ceiling and the roof is where opposite students are learning. This used to be a classroom, but the building is entirely dilapidated. In fact, one, two, three, four, five. There are five classrooms in this school. It's the opposite high school, opposite that. Is no more functional, so you can check it out. The school was founded 40 years ago. Uh, it used to be one of the best schools in old Ohosara, but this is what it looks like. This place is now used for defecation because the school doesn't have a functional toilet. If you go behind this place now, all you see is feces, excreta. And also, uh, we were told by the school uh, management that uh, some miscreants now use these buildings to rec recruit sec secret court members and also smoke marijuana. There's a lot of intrusion uh, by miscreants who also uh, harass female students and also try to forcefully recruit some male adolescents into uh, some of uh, into their cult. From here, you can see the first building there. This is the second, uh, dilapidated. These used to be classrooms. This is the third there. Classroom number three filled. There is uh, another one down there, and there's another one there. We'll get closer. So, this used to be the examination hall. Frazier Posse High School. Um, about 20 years ago, or thereabouts, the roof was blown off and was fixed.
by the state government. That's probably the only intervention that has happened there in the last three decades. So, but it's off again and it's not in use. Okay, I think this is a classroom. The examination hall should be the one down there. So, as you see, the school is a ghost of itself. Established in 1982, the only functional structures are just these two buildings you could see here. This is the staff room. You will not want to see the inside because you get very upset. So this is the staff building, principal's office. Um, so that's what this place is like. So here's the Okwase High School. Okwase needs serious attention from members of the community, from the government of Ebony State, from all students associations, from non-governmental organizations, from any individual or philanthropist that loves education. I'm putting my face to this because I'm not ashamed of calling for investment in education. I'm a product of public schools. I'm active member of my school Old Boys Association and I contribute on individual levels to supporting the education sector. No child of Okwasi, of Ohosa, of Ebony State or indeed any Nigerian child deserves to study under these kind of conditions. If you want the best for our children, those in government should ensure that the children of the poor also have decent learning environment, because that's the only way we can achieve sustainable development in our communities, fight crime through quality education, and also provide motivation for the teachers to, in order to study. I'll end this video here. I hope that this inspires action, especially as we go into elections in 2023. The next set of leaders in Okwasi, or Hazara, and Ebony State at large will prioritize education and, of course, health to make our schools functional and make our hospitals work. My name is Dr. Lars Eze. Bye.